Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Potomac Beads. This is the Best Bead Box XL. And I know this video is a little late. That's because this came in late. It came in on the 20th, and today's the 22nd, so I haven't been able to film it until today. And plus, I've been uploading videos like crazy every other day. So I upload, I edit the next day, and then I upload again. So anyways, let's go ahead and open this box up. The theme is Birds of a Feather, and again, this is the XL, which is the bigger box, and I will have a link for the subscription box down there below, the description bar. Oh, and I changed this. It's now just a piece of paper. It was an opening card, so flipping over to the back, right here is my pattern, Birds of a Feather. There's another one, Viola Earrings, and a bonus pattern. And here are all the beads for our stash, because we always need more beads for our stash. There's no such thing as too much beads, right? Alright, first one here, Birds of a Feather. Oh, this is cute. I like this. Is this a filigree? Yep, a filigree. We're going to put a cab on it. Red seed beads, 8 o's, 11 o's, 15 o's, 3 different sizes. And a tassel. This is cute. I like beading on filigree. I've done it before. It's really cool, and I feel like it could be done onto any filigree piece. But I have noticed that some filigrees don't have, um, like, all their holes. Like, if you go to use one and you go to bead on it, make sure you that all the holes are punched out in it, because I have some that don't have, like, an opening in some spots. So, yeah, here's the instructions. They have really good, clear instructions, easy to follow. Here's the other one, a Viola earring. This is pretty, and I think this would be awesome as a ring. Again, very clear instructions. Love the pictures. And here is the free pattern. Those are cool looking. I have a lot of crescent beads in my bead stash. I bought them in bulk bags. And I did make a couple designs with them, but I have not done tutorials with it. Alright, so here are some things. Laser cut disc ivory. Now I know this is not a real ivory. It's probably done with acrylic. But I have to say, that is gorgeous. I love this piece. So much can be done with it. Yeah, you can use it as a pendant. But a piece like this, because there's so many holes in it, I would like to have bead stringing wire coming from that hole, and then one from that hole. And then down here, there's three holes, so I could have bead dangles. There's a lot that can be done with this. And because there's a hole in the center, you could put something on the center of this piece. It's really beautiful, and there's a lot of possibilities with this. You can also put this into a bracelet. You could have a cord on this side, cord on this side, do macrame. It could be the center piece of a bracelet. That's an awesome piece. All right, so next thing, we have check rounds. Wait, are these trucks? They are trucks. I thought they were going to be round duos. This is a beautiful color. This is matte iris. I have a lot of iris color or beads in my stash, but I don't have matte. I have the shiny version. Those are beautiful. And then we have some daisy spacers. Yep, brass. Antique brass. Those are nice. And PC Pear Drops. So these are the beads for our stash, I believe. And the other ones for the projects are in bags. I'm going to go ahead and open this. These are gorgeous, and man, are they big. Oh my gosh. Beautiful peach. It's like a Rosaline peach color. These are gorgeous. These would make an awesome earrings, but they would also be great as a pendant. I like those a lot. And 
the next thing is Potomax Iris Duo. These look like real metal. Wait, are these metal? It's just Potomax. That sounds different. I have Iris Duo beads in my stash, and I've made some incredible pieces with Iris Duos. I have to say that the Iris Duo is one of my favorite beads that Potomac makes. I think these might be metal. They're like extra heavy. I gotta go on their site and see. It might say on their site they kind of look like they're metal. They are heavy. They're not like glass. Hmm. I'll put that code in on the bag and it'll tell me if they're metal. I want to say they are because I have some other things from them that say Potomax that are metal pieces. That's cool. Alright, let's see what else. Pewter Charm. Oh, that's cute. It's a birdie. And then, there's more stuff here in the bottom. There is Potomac Crystal 3mm rounds. They're faceted. And then there is pinch beads, two tone. That's neat. It's brown with. Is there a purple in there? Yeah, I kind of see brown, purple, and maybe like a yellow, oh, like a John Quill color. Exclusive color. And then we have these. I love these. This is Alexanderite. So I don't know what color you're seeing here. You might be seeing purple because I have two bulbs. I have a daylight bulb and then I have like a regular bulb. I need to get both daylights because they are the best for filming. But um, I haven't been able to find a second daylight one um, where I get my bulbs at. But anyways, this bead here is amazing. Whenever you see a glass bead that says Alexanderite, it's not a gemstone. It is glass. But um... In lighting in your house and like fluorescent lighting it looks blue but take it outside and it will be purple it'll change color it's really neat so whatever I make something with these I have to keep in mind that it changes color in the Sun and uh, try to make something that looks good either when it's in regular lighting or outside and then these here I have these Toho Demi Rounds. Wait, is it the Demi? There's Demi and O beads. O beads are bigger than these. I have these in 8-0s. I think these might be 8s. I'll have to put in that product number there and I'll see. And I want to say they have the same color. I have blue iris or green iris in my stash. But those beads are awesome. I love how big the holes are. I know that these are for stitching really, but I like that I can use these on cord because they have large holes. And by the way, I have some weird problem going on with my electricity, so my fan, my lights, are, and my TV dims in and out, in and out. So if the lighting is dimming, it's because there's like some electrical problem going on in my house. These here are round lever back earrings. Oh my gosh, I have never seen these. I didn't know there was such a thing. I guess this makes sense though, because all the ones I have are like oval shaped. Yeah, that is round. How cool. Leverbacks are my favorite earring findings because they are so comfortable. You can sleep in them. They're secure. They don't fall out. And then, are those tiny little chicks? Finch Silhouette Charm. That is so cute. They're double-sided, too. I love those. And these, these are awesome. I have these in antique brass. They're like 10 millimeters. Doesn't say it on the back, but they're pretty big. Quadrilentals. I have some of these. This is one of the most bizarre beads, very challenging to work with. 
but really neat. I would like to try these in um, circular herringbone because of how they have four holes. That would be cool to have a bead like this, like in between your seed bead stitches. I wonder what that would be like in a rope. And then we have owls. Oh, I have some of these in my stash. Mine are cream and gold. There's a bunch of different check owl beads. I think I have three different ones in my stash. This one here is small. But there's one that is flat that I have. It's big. They're expensive, by the way. They're not cheap. And then there's one that is an entire bird like this, but bigger. That one's my favorite. It's really cute. And then we have check faceted drops. These are great, and I have to say, I don't have a lot of check drops like this. I have essential in my stash. I mostly have the one that has the hole here at the point because I make flowers with them all the time. But the check teardrops that have the center hole like this are the best quality. They are not sharp at all. The regular glass, like ones you can get from China, they have sharp holes at the top there and at the bottom, and they will cut your your thread. So I always be careful what I do with those. But um, I think I have a pendant or maybe a ring that I use, that I uh, may use teardrop beads like this with. I think it was the romantic one. I don't know. I'll look through the pictures and see if I use teardrops for that. And I'll post a picture now. If, if I did. But yeah, you could use these in a pendant. I like making them in a pendant. Actually, I might have a different pendant. These are 7 by 10 millimeter. I think I did a big medallion type pendant that had teardrops in it. I have to go back and look through my pictures. Anyways, here are some Storm Duos Amber Full. I have this Amber Full in... Potomac Buttons, this color, and I have to be honest, I wore the bracelet a lot, and the color of, on this, or on the button, it's the same amber full on the button, it actually is coming off, and the button is clear underneath. I thought it would last, like, a really long time, but it's not. So here is... Two of the projects. This is the birds of a feather one. I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way. Let's see what cab I got. So here's the filigree. I have this same exact filigree in my stash, and it is the one that I was talking about that is a missing holes. So mine, there's like, like this area, there's like two holes that are not poked out. So, yeah. It's a big one, isn't it? So then that's the filigree, and here's the cab. This is big. I thought this was going to be smaller. I think that's a 25 millimeter? Yeah, it is. It's the size of a quarter. In case you didn't know, a quarter is 25 millimeters. It's a good measuring tool there. That's going to be a really cool piece. I like that. And then we have some Miyuki Seed Beads 15 -0. This is an awesome color. I got a top in this color. It's really unusual. I don't see it a lot. It's orangey. It's more orangey than yellow to me. Don't know what my camera's showing. Sometimes my camera shows color weird. And here is the tassel. And then this color. What is this color? Yuki CB 11 i I'll have to put in the product code. Is this brown? It is, it's brown. It kind of has a red look to it though. 
Those are really neat. I like those. And then we have Edo Sea Beads in matte iris. Beautiful. Love them. I have a in Toho. I have a color like this, but it's more purple. It's like green and purple. This one here is more green. So I guess it's a, that's like the difference between the Miyuki and Yato. So if you go to buy sea beads like this, if you love this color, look at both the Toho and Miyuki. Now Toho's, in case you didn't know, are a little bit thicker. They're not as uniform as Miyuki, and I feel like Miyuki and Czech are more similar to each other because I've made a lot of projects where I can use either or of those. But um, I find that there's less things that I could do with Toho. But I have made designs where I can only use Toho seed beads in Czech and Miyuki won't work. So um, you might want to look, if you go to get a color like this, at the, at the difference between the Toho and the Miyuki. The Toho version of this has more purple in it. This one doesn't really have purple. This one's more teal green bronze is what I see in that iris right there. Alright, so I saw all of those. Yeah, I saw everything here. I'll move this over and we'll go through the last bag. So this was the Viola earrings. Oh, that's a big setting. That's neat. Oh my gosh, this is Amethyst Cabochons. They're so little, 12 millimeter. Look at that. Now, if you're not a big fan of earrings like this, because they're so large, right? I mean, this is a small cab, but for an earring, that's kind of a big earring. You could totally make your earrings into a ring. I do it all the time, and I um, I don't know what the back of this looks like complete, but like this bead right here might be where you add your ring band onto this kind of bead. You always want to add your ring band um in a spot where it'll sit just right on your finger. So I want to open these and look at them better. Those are cute! Alright, so those are the cabs. Why do they always go upside down? I don't want to take pictures. I have to stop and flip them over. Okay. So here's the setting. These are large. I like that it's this big to glue this in here because when it's smaller, I feel like it's not as secure, but this here is a nice, big, secure setting. And then the seed beads. This is purple iris. Metallic dark plum iris. Ooh. So it is darker than purple iris. And then this, this Montana blue. I think so. Montana blue is gor gorgeous. It's like a denim blue. It's like a smoky blue. Really pretty color. Look at that. Those are 4 millimeter, and then 15 O's. Oh wow, this is cool. This is a color line. Miyuki Sea Beat 15 O. It is purple lined. But it's not a regular clear bead. It's like... How do I describe that? Almost like citrine with purple inside. Those are beautiful. So does it show... Is the beading going to go behind? I would have to read it. I was just wondering if the beading is going to go behind this setting. So if like the beading would touch your ear. I'm thinking it might. That's how I would do it. So this is it. I'm going to put everything all together so you can see it all in one shot just to know how much you're getting. 
I laid everything out here so you could see it all in one shot. And something here that I'm really loving and dying to work with are these pear teardrops. I don't think I've ever made anything with this shape. And I'm seeing that there are some beads here that would look really cool with these. Like, I actually like these two together. So it would be cool to do earrings with this here on the top. So I would have to bezel this too. And if I don't use these... I also see how these pretty much go with the sea beads here. Like, even these look good together. And I know these are for, like, these I think it was. But um, I like those together. I like these two colors together. I see how these go with a lot of things in this box. I love these with the green. Very pretty. So I'm kind of wanting to do something with these. And these here also look great with that. So um, I don't know. If there's something here that you're interested in and you would like me to do a video using, let me know down in the comments and I will see what I can do. And remember, I always try to make something using the materials here that I have in the box. I try not to go and use really anything for my stash. The only thing I'm using for my stash is pretty much um, basic things. Thread, simple findings, stuff like that. This is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure that you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.